you know when you have a gut feeling that something's not quite right? So I took myself off and I got a colonoscopy done. I saw a six centimetre tumour inside of me that was bleeding. We kind of knew from day one that it was, it was cancerous. Nearly a year ago now, um, I was diagnosed with stage four bowel cancer. My aim is to show that you can still live a really good life and still have the odd glass of wine and still have a bit of fun. But I have to be honest with you that I was probably, uh, you know, focusing very much on my work life and I wasn't actually focusing on my family or my health. Two and a half thousand people under the age of 50 um, are diagnosed with it every year. There's never a time where you don't, where you take things for granted because you can't. You have as much fun as you possibly can when you can and when you're feeling well enough to do it because you know that there's, there's tough days around the corner. I try as hard as I can to do the things that used to make me happy and still make me happy. I still like uh, getting my hair done, throwing two parties in the space of three days. Just because I have cancer doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing that. I'm currently undergoing chemotherapy as we speak. I'm attached to the chemo pump. I could be on chemo for life and people think I'm joking. Less than one in ten people with my disease um, at my stage survive for more than five years. The fact that I'm sitting here nearly a year later, um, statistically, it's really positive. It becomes it becomes natural to become positive. I like speaking to other cancer patients, hearing about other people's stories, and I think, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. My family and my friends have just been amazing. Doing very basic stuff, like just being normal and actually just living our regular life, um, they've been there for me. And I would say to anyone in my situation, if people are reaching out to you and, and you know, offering support, just take it, because you need it. I'm not saying cancer's a really, you know, the best thing that's happened to me is, it's the worst thing that's happened to me. But yet, if things don't work out, I have a newfound appreciation for stuff that I never had an appreciation for because of it. I hate the fact that cancer has made me do that and I wish it was something else that gave me a kick in the right direction to do that. Um, but I appreciate stuff in life that I never, ever, ever recognised before.